hello everyone today i would like to show you the dht 11 temperature and humidity sensor and how to connect it to arduino and to display the temperature and humidity readings on different displays for example i'm going to be using i2c lcd and oled this sensor belongs to the dht family of sensors there's another common one called the dht 22 sensor it's different from this one because the other one is normally white in color that's the first difference but also the dht 22 sensor is more accurate over a wider range of temperature and humidity compared to the dht 11. however the dht 11 sensor has a better sampling rate it has a sampling rate of one hours meaning it can give you readings every after one second while the dht 22 gives readings every after two seconds that's one of the major differences otherwise the pinout and internal structure of the sensors are almost identical so as you can see here the sensor has four pins here where one is the vcc we have the data line then this other pin the third pin we don't usually need it so we only use three pins out of the four then this other last one is the ground pin and when you are connecting these sensors to microcontroller normally you are going to use you need a 10 kilo ohm pull up resistor on the data line in order to enable better communication between the microcontroller and the sensor however uh, like this one this one is on a breakout board so when the sensor is placed on a breakout board then you don't need that pull up resistor because the resistor is already part of the components on this board so you don't need that pull up resistor here we just use the three pins as are given here for example this is the ground this is the data pin and this is the vcc as you can see this sensor has a casing here inside this casing there is a thermistor for measuring the temperature and also a humidity sensing component and then there's also an 8-bit microcontroller for converting the analog temperature and humidity readings to digital form so that it can easily be read by the microcontroller from here we can see how we can be able to use this sensor with the various displays now let me demonstrate how to show the results of the readings of the dht 11 humidity and temperature sensor on an i2c lcd display and the setup is going to be as illustrated here the lcd display is going to be connected to the clock pin is going to be connected to a5 and the data pin is going to be connected to a4 this one i'll use it in a number of my other tutorials and setups so in case up to now you don't know how to set up this i2c lcd you can always make reference to my previous tutorials then for the dht 11 sensor it only has since this is on a breakout board so you're just going to connect uh, the vcc to the power supply then the ground and then i'm going to connect the data pin to pin 8 on my arduino board and from there I'll be able to upload the code and we see what exactly is happening. Before I upload the code, let me first go through the code a little bit and I'll show you how the code works. This is the code for displaying the readings of the DHT 11 temperature and humidity sensor on an I2C LCD display. The code is quite simple because I've already talked about how to program the I2C LCD on Arduino. In that case, we are going to need the liquid crystal I2C dot h library because in this case we are going to be using a 16 by 2 lcd display and also we need the dht dot h library for running the dht 11 sensor then you create a dht object and declare the pin where you are connecting the sensor in this case i'm connecting my sensor on pin 8 so i'll declare it as pin 8 then you begin your lcd display and here you are reading the temperature and humidity readings so this code is not very hard if you know to use the i2c lcd display then yeah the code is rather self-explanatory i also put a link in the description below where you can be able to have further look at the code and also you can be able to download these libraries in case you have not used them before so from here we can be able to upload this code to arduino and see how it works yeah so now the code is uploaded and you can be able to see the temperature and humidity readings from the i2c lcd display as indicated here so this is the simple demonstration of how to show the readings of the dht 11 temperature and humidity sensor on an ilcd display so next i will show you how you can also have the same readings displayed on uh, another kind of display which is a oled display so this is the setup for the dht 11 temperature and humidity sensor being interfaced with the i2c or oled display
I already have a tutorial where I've shown you how to use this OLED display with Arduino and how to connect it. It is using I2C communication, therefore it's very easy to connect to an Arduino board. So for this case, we are just going to connect the clock pin of this display with A5 and then the data pin is going to be connected to A3 and then it has a ground pin and a VCC or power supply. So very simple to connect and the DHT 11 sensor we just connect the signal pin to data pin 8 and then uh, the ground and vcc pins will be connected to the corresponding power supply and ground pins then from there you can be able to upload our code but before uploading it let me give you some walkthrough of the code that we are going to be using so this is the code we need to be able to use the OLED display with the DHT11 sensor. However, before using the display, we need to install these libraries, the Adafruit DFX.h, Adafruit SSD1306, and the Adafruit sensor.h library. However, this Adafruit sensor.h is part of the Adafruit Unified Sensors library. So to be able to get this Adafruit sensor, We'll go to tools manage libraries then in the search here you search for adafruit unified sensor so it will be down here yeah so this one adafruit unified sensor so make sure you install this to be able to use the oled display and the DHT 11 sensor. If you don't have this library installed, then you'll not be able to use different sensors with the Adafruit libraries. After installing all these libraries, then the rest of the code is also simple because I already talked about most of these parts of the code when I was talking about how to use the OLED displays with Arduino, especially this type of display which is using I2C communication. So in my case, I'm using 128 by 32 for display. So you may find you are using 128 by 64. That remain will affect the way you are going to be displaying the temperature and humidity readings on your display. So here when you are running this command, set the cursor. So the values you put inside here depend on the type of display that you are having. If you are having a bigger display, then most probably these values will also be bigger than mine because mine is a smaller one. Then even here, I have declared pin 8 as the pin where I am putting my sensor. And I'm also using the DH11 as the type of sensor that I'm using. I'll put a link in the description below where you can be able to get this code and also make reference to other codes on how to use the OLED display before you can be able to integrate it with the DHT11 sensor. Okay, so this is the simple code you're going to be using. So let me upload it and then I show you the outcome of this code. So we have now uploaded the code and as you can see, you can be able to see the temperature and humidity readings on the i2c or led display as shown here so that's how you use the dht 11 temperature and humidity sensor it can be used in a number of applications one of the most commonly used sensors in very many electronics projects so here we're just giving you an introduction and a simple demonstration of how you can use it with the different displays hope you have learned something new today don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like my videos and to watch my other tutorials thanks for watching